Hey everybody, real quick before the video starts, this video is sponsored by Ghostfire Gaming and Grim Hollow. It's October, that means Grim Halloween has begun. You can get the entire Grim Hollow bundle containing the campaign guide, player's guide, and monster grimoire for only 99 bucks, which is pretty good price if I gotta say so myself. It's got everything you need to run a dark fantasy campaign in the world of Etheris, and I'm gonna have some spooky themed videos coming out pretty soon, so go check it out with the link down below. Hey everybody, it's been a little bit. I know uploads have been a little bit infrequent, and that is because Spencer and I have been in between moving. We just got a new house, and we're really excited. We're finally getting settled in. Um, but the past few weeks have been pretty rough. <laughs> the past few months, really. We've been trying to get this house for a little while, and there's this big miscommunication that happened. I tweeted about the whole thing if you want to go read about it. It sucked, but now everything's good, especially because we have this brand new space that we're using for our D&D stream setup. Me, Spencer, my sister Emma, and my good friend Craig worked extremely hard on this room and this space to make it something that would not only feel really cool to be in, but something that we could be really proud of. And I'm basically here to show it off to you. For the most part, this is our old set, uh, except it's got some pretty major upgrades. Upgrades that were possible because of our Arcane Goblins who are supporting us on our Arcane Arcade Patreon. All of the money that goes into that Patreon goes directly into an account that we only use for the stream. You guys basically made this possible. So, without further ado, the new Arcane Arcade streaming room, which will also be the space that I play D&D in for the foreseeable future. So one of the first things that went up in this room was all of this wood paneling that Craig did nearly by himself with the help of my friend Mia and my sister Emma, and they put so much work into this, it really, really paid off. Yeah, it really did pay off. This wood paneling is incredible. I can't believe you did it all by yourself, Craig. You made it look so easy. It was easy. Just really, really easy. <laughs> After the paneling was nearly done, Spencer and my sister Maddie and I really wanted to fill in this chunk of wall, so we painted this galaxy design that's reminiscent of our theme on Arcane Arcade, which is, you know, tavern in space. Spencer did the stars, which came out beautifully, and Spencer also made this tarot wall from this door to the mini and terrain closet. And uh, the cards are from the D&D tarot set, and they are so pretty. I love them a lot. Uh, this is also the closet where we uh, keep all of the minis and terrain, and it is not organized at all, so just ig ignore that for now, we're gonna get to it. Next, we began wiring everything, which was a lot of work. We started with the cameras. These are DSLRs that have dummy batteries that are plugged in up here, and have HDMI wiring that runs all the way to the computer in the other room. And we've got five cameras now, one for the DM, two for the players, and two board cameras for alternate angles. We also wired our XLR cables along the same track coming from the wireless receivers we placed up there, and to the soundboard, which is also in the other room. This is the huge part of the new setup. On the previous set, I was running the whole stream with a stream deck right next to me. Now Emma is running the entire stream separate from us while I can focus on the game and DMing. It also cleared up tons of space, which made room for decor. All of the decor that's up now is themed to our Icewind Dale game, the party currently being in the nethery city of Aetherin. Emma and Craig designed it to look like ancient artifacts, strange creatures, brains in jars, and each of our games are gonna have different decor based on its theme. And if you wanna see them, well, you just have to join us every Friday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Arcane Arcade. Lastly, the table. This is the same table that we had before. It's the same one that Abram built, my friend, who's also my brother-in-law's dad. Now, I didn't know him before. I know him. he's my friend because he's my brother-in-law's dad. It, okay, look. This table is awesome because not only is it flat for space and terrain maps, but it's also got these boards that can be removed to reveal the TV table underneath, which is hooked into the table here, which goes into my laptop, so I can display maps. I personally use the Dynamic Dungeons app, which you can find on Steam. Everyone also has little cubbies, plugs, cup holders, and dice rollers. And if you want to build this table yourself, you can support Abram and his design and buy his instruction manual, which is in the description down below. So yeah. D&D setup 2.0. 
We are so extremely excited to come back to streaming, but I want to take this uh, moment just to give a big shout out to our patrons, our viewers, our Discord community, and especially to Craig, Mia, Emma, and Spencer. You guys really went above and beyond for all of this and um, are some of the hardest working people that I know. So you guys are awesome. I love you so much. I love all of you. And I, 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 have, I have so much prep to do now. Do you have any games? that I need to prepare for? I don't know what was going on. I don't remember how to play this game anymore.